Hello YouTube, I'm David with the David West Channel. Let's practice a little hobo stove cooking just in case the power ever goes out and this has crossover value for survival situations too. I love to get out here and cook on the hobo stove. Let's see what we can do. I think I have everything put together that I need. Big bottle of water, salt and pepper, a utensil, a spoon to cook with, and a little rag, a couple very large eggs, and a tablespoon of coffee, three tablespoons of grits, a couple of pats of butter, a couple of pieces of cheese, and let's do what's not recommended. Use this little iron skillet to boil water in. I'm gonna boil water for coffee, I'm gonna boil water sort of while I'm making the grits. So let me go ahead and get a right. piece of wood, a favorite wood of mine to work with that is plentiful in the southeast in upstate South Carolina, the tulip poplar. Several branches here, and I got some bark. Let's go ahead and separate this inner bark from the outer bark. Break through the outer bark and you can use it to pull off this inner bark. And try to keep it from getting blown away. I'll put it up in here. Cold day today. The wind is blowing at 10 miles an hour. But hey, you gotta get out here and practice in all kinds of conditions. It's about 40, 42 degrees, I guess. It started off at about 39 this morning. Keychain fire rod. This is a Bayite. You can get them on Amazon. The three pack for $15. What you see me use all the time more companion stainless steel with a good sharp 90 degree spine. And we'll start adding bark to that. that wind blow. I really need a windscreen, but I'm gonna try it without it for a while. See if we can get enough heat to go straight up to the bottom of our little six inch iron skillet. actually turn it away from the wind. That's better. We don't need all that aeration, do we? <laughs> Coffee that I drink all the time, every day, is the McDonald's brand of coffee. It's called McCafe. Let's put our pot supports on. We are ready to boil water for coffee. <laughs> All the heat going that way. We'll just see what we can do with it. I really hate using windscreens.
Got to boil, don't we? Now, usually what I do is I take my tablespoon of coffee grounds, I put it in the water, take it off the heat, and cover it up and let it steep for 10 minutes. But under these conditions, I'm just going to go ahead and put the coffee grounds in the cup, and they will, the grounds will stay on the bottom of the cup, and that's how I'll have coffee this morning. But I'm still going to wait for a rolling bowl. They stand in the way of that wind. fuel in there. And this is about a cup of water, about halfway full. We'll let that start boiling and we'll put in our grits. Believe me, all of those grounds will get waterlogged and sink to the bottom. That coffee will be great. Let's try our coffee. good oh man man that is good stand over here in front of the wind try to oh man coffee just tastes better outside doesn't it skillet. You never think of boiling things in an iron skillet. You people around the world, if you've never tried grits, you do not know what you're missing. They may not even be offered in your grocery stores, but uh, you ought to order some online. You'll really enjoy them. I never put my cheese and butter in them until they're done cooking. Be patient and wait on it. All right, the five minute grits has cooked about six minutes.
<laughs> that is the perfect consistency. Well, we have those little pieces of cheese in there. Let's go ahead and put them on our plate here. All right, a little bit of pepper. I was hoping to have a little bit of toast, but we'll see how much heat is coming off of that. Because I wanted a piece of toast with my grits and a piece of toast with my eggs. We'll do the best we can under the circumstances. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this day that you've given me and this good food that you've set before me. Thank you for your love and your mercy. Pray that you'd watch over our great nation at this time as China and Russia is, is acting up. There are enemies and the borders wide open and this pandemic, so many evils pressing in on us from every side. And so Lord, I just pray for your hand of protection over this great country and this great people in America that love you. In Jesus name I pray, amen. Let's eat. I'm going to give you a long shot so you can see me enjoying myself. I'll turn my toaster back towards the wind. Try to get a little brown on it. Perfectly cooked. The grits are perfectly hydrated. They're soft and good. I don't put extra salt on them because there's all that cheese in there and butter which is plenty of salt for me really good Have you had your grits close up this morning? Open up. This coffee is killer. It is so good. All right. Still got some embers in here. What I want to do is take the skillet in the house, clean it up real good, and then I'll show you when you feel like you've lost your seasoning. This is something I saw um, on YouTube. You can use two different kinds of fats and immediately bring your seasoning back. So we'll use olive oil first. And then we'll use uh, animal fat, which would be the butter. And usually that brings the seasoning right back. That does not look like a seasoned pan, does it? Let's give it a coat of olive oil. And that looks better. So when we get some coals built up, <clears throat> we'll go ahead and heat this up and put that butter in there. And I was gonna cook two eggs, but I think I'll just cook one so that I can better show you that it's nonstick. Alright, let's set that heat up. Oh, I hope we can get this done. 
I've only got 20% power left. That pan is good and hot. I'll rub the butter on the sides. That is all we need. is too hot. Let me take it off. Let it cool off a little bit. That's my heat control. That's my thermostat. If your fire is too hot, you're just going to have to take the pan off the hobo stove. bit of pepper and we have a perfectly seasoned pan after all that boiling all right let's see if we can turn that thing over All we need that egg is just a sizzling better take it off the heat that pan I mean it's good to go just wipe it out I'll go ahead and season it all the way around. It's right back to a well seasoned pan. All right, y'all. Before I run out of power, let me tell you this please hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and in the drop down list, select all, and please give me a like. Appreciate you joining me on this one. We'll catch you on the next one. So good. Something about cooking food outside just makes it taste better. Let's get into that runny part. We'll catch you on the next one.